Okay. My name is Michelle Wayne Kwan. I was born on July 7, 1980. I am the youngest of three children of Danny and Estelle Kwan. I was nicknamed Little Kwan by my family. My parents were both born in China, so my siblings and I were the first born in the USA. I grew up in Torrance, California, a suburb of Los Angeles. My parents owned a Chinese restaurant called the Golden Pheasant. My sister, brother, and I helped out in it whenever we could. My brother, Ron, played ice hockey. My older sister, Karen, and I thought it looked like fun. I started skating when I was five years old. My sister took lessons too, but my coaches thought I had a lot of natural talent. I was able to land the same jump as years old. My parents were very supportive. All they wanted was for me to have a happy life, always. They didn't expect me to get a gold medal. My grandmother gave me a Chinese good luck charm, which I wear and never take off. The best way for anyone to learn to skate is by being yourself. The other key to success is to practice, practice, practice. I love to practice and never want to take off my skates or get off the ice. At age 11, I left my parents and went to Lake Arrowhead to train. My dad would drive two hours each evening, each way, just to watch my sister Karen and I practice. In 1993, at age 12, I began competing at the senior level in hopes of going to the Winter Olympics. I was also named Skater of the Year. I was chosen as an alternate to the 1994 Olympic team. I was also the youngest American ever to compete at the 94 World Championships. In 1996, I won the World Championships with two perfect 6.0s. In 1998, I placed second at the Olympics and won first place at both the U.S. and World Championships. I also graduated from high school that year with a 3.61 GPA. While skating is an important part of my life, my education is just as important. A lot of people said, you have enough money so you don't have to go to college. I said no. My education is so much more important. In April of 99, I began my college classes at UCLA. Throughout my career, I have been a spokesperson for the Children's Miracle Network and various other pediatric charities. I have always believed that through hard work and commitment, anything is possible. At the 2006 Olympics, I had to withdraw because of an injury. After 42 perfect 6.0s, the most of any single skater, five world championships, and nine U.S. championships, I decided to retire after, after over 15 years of competing. I think I deserve it. I spend my time off at my home in Manhattan Beach, California. I admire Michelle because she is very talented and very athletic. I also admire her because even when she would fall on the ice, she would get back up, laugh, and just keep on skating. You know, we tried to find that on the internet, but we couldn't. Yeah. All her bios stopped last year when she had to retire after the Olympics, and we couldn't find anything else. So I think she just must be doing it private or just really did retire because we couldn't find anything else out. Her injury was. Tore her hip and her groin. She pulled the muscle really bad and yeah, she, she couldn't skate. The
judges if she wasn't feeling 100% good, then she had to withdraw. And she, she tried to do a practice, and when she did her practice, she couldn't do it, so she had to withdraw. Yeah, I remember that. That's pretty hard. Great. Good.